Hey there, it's Dave Hompas here with you again for another video on H. pylori. Now in this video I'm going to answer a really common question, one that we get a lot when people uh, email us and call us for advice and that question is how on earth did I get H. pylori? How did it get into my body? How is it transmitted and how come so many people have it? And it's a really important question as well because most doctors tend not to know the answer to this question. It's a tricky question to answer because actually there are a multitude of different ways that this little bacterium can get into your body. Now, the first mechanism that we know for a fact holds true is that H. pylori can definitely be passed from person to person. And there may be different ways that it can be passed from person to person. So the exact transmission route from person A to person B isn't known, but it has something to do with kissing. It might be to do with sexual contact because, believe it or not, H. pylori has been isolated in semen and it has been isolated in the vaginal tract as well. We also know that it can hang out in the uh, dental plaque in people's mouths. So whenever you're exchanging fluids with somebody, whether it's mother and baby, whether it's sexual contact, there is an opportunity for H. pylori from, to, to skip from person A to person B. Now, we also know that H. pylori can almost certainly be passed on contaminated food. I think that's how I picked up H. pylori for the first time when I was on holiday in Egypt all the way back in 2004. We also think that H. pylori can be passed in drinking water, probably not any old drinking water, more likely tap water, uh, excuse me, well water, <laughs> or possibly tap water in some of the more developing countries, but the research certainly tells us that H. pylori can live in well water. Now, we also think that H. pylori might be present in areas where there is sewage outlets. So if you're going swimming in the sea near sewage outlets, you may be able to acquire it by swallowing seawater as well. Are there any other possible mechanisms? Yes, there are. We also realise through some of the research that's been done that animals may be able to pass H. pylori to us. There are lots of different helicobacter species. H. pylori is one, but there are many, many other ones. But some scientists believe that pet dogs and pet cats can harbour H. pylori in their mouths. So if you let them lick your hands or your face, that may be another transmission route. And finally, we also have the possibility, believe it or not, it's a little bit ironic, that certain hospital procedures might even cause H. pylori infection. You may have heard of something called an endoscopy, and you may even have had an endoscopy yourself. It's where they stick a camera down your throat to have a look at what's going on in your stomach and intestine, and sometimes they take snips of tissue, biopsies, uh, to actually check for H. pylori. But what if person A has H. pylori and then the hospital staff don't clean the equipment properly. Hmm, that's an interesting one. And we do know from some of the medical articles that are out there that there's a suspicion that you can acquire H. pylori from improperly cleaned medical equipment. That's a little bit ironic because there's a test that's trying to detect H. pylori in some people, it might actually give H. pylori to some people. So not a particularly uh, clever way to go about business in the hospitals there. But in a nutshell, it doesn't really matter how you acquired H. pylori individually. What does matter is, do you want to pass it on to other people? And that's why I think a really firm understanding of how it might be acquired is really important. And also, of course, assuming you don't want to be working hard to get rid of your own H. pylori and then to pick it back up from the water that you're drinking, uh, from your pets or, or from your spouse or partner, for example, because reinfection once H. pylori is gone, is also reasonably common. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it shed a lot of light on how H. pylori may have gotten into your body and also how to avoid it coming back once you get rid of it. My name is Dave Pompez and I look forward to talking to you again very, very soon. Thank you.